so many guys, you know, might know the information or, or feel like they're very equipped to train athletes of any kind. Talk a little bit about just a kind of a quick summary, but a, maybe a little bit into it of the idea of like how you go about creating that plan and making sure that you're a accomplishing everything you need, but you're doing it in the right order. Are you obviously thinking about bodies and things like that? Yeah, I think first and foremost, we have to start with understanding our players and what they are and what they can do and where we need to improve. And the first step I think that has to happen is just an evaluation process. Um, you know, I think you have to evaluate them both physically and defensively uh, because sometimes the limitations that come defensively are, you know, they originate with the inability to, of something physical that they're not really able to do to put themselves into a position to accomplish the task that we're trying to get them to accomplish. So I think when, when you look at it to start, you just have to evaluate where they are first and foremost and try to figure out where the deficiencies are and how you're going to attack it. And then as a coach, you have to understand what's important to you. Um, I think, you know, it's different for different people. Obviously, we all know that receiving is probably the biggest key that we can do and help our pitching staff the most. Uh, and help our team the most by gaining as many extra strikes as we can and not giving away strikes. So you just have to evaluate what's important to you, evaluate your players and where they're at, and then understand that it's a process. It's not going to happen overnight and and kind of set many goals along the way uh, that you would like to see your guys reach before you move on to the next step. And don't overload them with information because I know guys – want a lot of information now players want a lot of information now because they're just used to having it all the time but i think we also have to understand when is the right time to give them the information that we have at each part and each point in the process of what we're doing and then as you go along get the players input i think players need to be involved in this i think if you talk to a lot of really good leaders and people that you know that have said they're really good leaders i think they include the, pro, the player in our job as coaches is to kind of take ourselves out of the process if we can, like let the players be a part of it and then understand what they need to do and how they need to get there. And if we're doing our job as coaches and including them and getting their ideas and their feedback and they understand what we're trying to accomplish as a group, then they can kind of take the reins and control it themselves a little bit. 